Hey there, it's Mark, and welcome to Truck and Tuesday. Normally, I like to publish Truck and Tuesday early in the morning because there's people on the other side of the globe where they get Tuesday first, so I usually publish it early. But Patty, Patty's the cat that I'm taking care of. She's a stray cat. She had her kittens, and I had to take them to the doctor today. One of the kittens developed a problem with the eye, so uh, I just did a lot of things to do. This is the one that I'm going to check out today. This is the first review that I'm going to do with the Ford C800. I'm not that big of a fan of this truck, but the Ford GT, 16 Ford GT race, I like the Ford GT. So I wound up getting it. But let me tell you, the graphics on the Ford GT race look fantastic. This is actually the first truck that was released of the Ford C800. And look, look at the car, it's hanging off. See, now this one, since it's a low profile car, they can tuck it right in there. I'm not, I'm not a fan of this teeter-totter thing, but I got it, it's okay. Look how it's hanging off. Now the Ford GT is my favorite car. This year, they're actually, hmm, or within the last year, you can actually get four different versions of the Ford GT. Here is the 16 Ford GT race. That's the same model that we're going to be looking at here. As a matter of fact, I picked up this premium version. I'll be opening up that today to use in the display. Not my favorite Ford GT. It looks good, especially with these graphics. It's okay. And this is like a current car. So D case, you might be able to find this uh, in stores. This one, that was D case. This is D case as well. So they were both in the same mix. This is my favorite Ford GT, the Ford GT 40. The white, not exactly my favorite color, but look, uh, I, this is the Ford GT that I, I love to collect. Now they have a new model of the Ford GT. Here you go, new for 2021. This is the first color release. It appeared in the E case and it, oh, you can, since it's English package, it has that information. You can pause that and check it out. 67 Ford GT 40. Mark, Mark, mm, four. I almost forgot the Roman numerals. Yeah, four. I like this too. Uh, I like this better than the GT race as well. It's got a little bit more meat on the bone, if you know what I mean. Oh, even though, even though I don't particularly, this isn't my favorite, I should say, right? It was a super treasure hunt. As a matter of fact, uh, I pulled one out of one of my case unboxing videos. You can check out that link to the case unboxing video. Ford GT40, it was a super treasure hunt last year. Unfortunately, I did not get one out of the case. I had to pick one up afterwards. You're going to wait for another video. Not today, not the super. And there's another Ford GT, the Ford GT LM. There you go, Ford GT LM. This is not the current color. This is when it was a 2009 new model. But... Uh, you could have got it in 2020. It was in the mystery baggies. As a matter of fact, I just did I just did a video here on Mr. Grooves. And you can check out that mystery car baggie if you'd like. Now, we're going to open this up today. This one right here. Hmm, this one's pretty nice. This is a nice Ford as well. Yep, I'm, gonna, I'm saving that one for another video. I kind of like to open up a car to go along with the unboxing video. This one's gonna wait. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. No, as a matter of fact, I know I'm not gonna do it with that one. I have something else planned, as a matter of fact. Is it here? Uh, I think, nope, that's not the one. Um, is that the one? Maybe, I forget. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the one, as a matter of fact. Cause it looks good, look at that Ford blue. Grabber blue looks good with that, those in the back. So you can interchange the uh, trucks today. We're going to open this up as a special, and wherever that pack went, oh, this one. <laughs> I'm going to open up uh, both these because it has the 16 Ford GT race. I appreciate Mattel putting the trucks that are in the mix at the time this was released. This time it had four trucks in the one case, four trucks to a case, four different trucks. Sometimes they only have three trucks and one of the trucks will be a double. They don't give that information on the back. But at least you know if you see the VW on the pegs that the Euro hauler probably should have been on the pegs too and someone just beat you to the punch. 
or I should say, beat you to the pigs. Hey, look, P Patty. Patty? Yeah, this cat here. This Ford GT was part of the Circuit Legends set. You see the 50th anniversary. So this would have been about uh, 2018 that this would have been released. And here are the other five cars that were available at the time. I definitely, I bought this off the pegs. I love that car, but I just got an extra one. I don't think I bought any of the others. I definitely didn't buy this one. Not a fan of the, the color of the wheels, to be honest. Whoa, whoa. Normally, I would go look for the other sample because, like I told you, I bought it at, off the pegs. This one I got at the collector's show in South Pasadena. I picked up a, a second sample. But, you know, normally you, you would get the two packages together and then see which one is the, you know, which, which package is more banged up and keep the other one in the pack. But this time, uh, I don't have the time. So I don't think this one's really, I don't think this one has that much more value. Whether it's in the package or whether it is a, even if it's in the package, I don't think it, it makes a whole lot of difference for this car here. The 16 Ford GT race. And once again, I talked about this, you know, Maestro does it a lot better to show the gap in here. The, uh, jeez, I can never think of that name. Maybe if I, I'll think, I'll think about it by the end of the video, as a matter of fact. I know I will. It's a uh, arch something, uh, goal. Uh, oh, well, I'll think. I'll, I'll think about it later. It's called the Flying Buttress. This part right here comes out. And it's actually not a term for cars. It's an architectural term to where this comes out. It's a support. It's a flying buttress. It's up in the air. But in the Hot Wheels version, <laughs> there, there's no gap right here. If you pick up a Maisto version, yeah, that one's much nicer. They, the way they designed the model itself, it allows for a gap right here, which is authentic to the real car. Now we'll take a look at the truck. It is Trucking Tuesday after all. This is the Ford C800. All of the sides are going to be decorated. So there's your front, your grill, and also up on top, those are decorated. I turned off what the closest lights, by the way. So if it looks a little dark, that's because I turned one of the lights off. Otherwise, all the white, it just winds up getting flooded by the light, and then you can't even see anything. I'm not a fan of these wheels. I want to see more rubber on my tires, especially if it's a truck. Here you have Ford, Castrol, EcoBoost, and here in the back, Ford Performance, and a few other licensed logos as well. Is that better? It looks like Sparco, Brembo, and Michelin. Tail lights in the rear and Ford logos instead of a, a license plate. Have a look at the other side. This time they flipped the sponsor, so now Sparco is still in the rear, and Michelin is still near the tire. And they kept these lo these logos in the same space. They kept them in the same place as well. Patty, I'm filming. You can't come up here. Pfft, got hair on my face. Anyways, uh, the logos are in the same space in, ref in uh, reference to the position of the front of the truck. I think Patty likes the Ford GTs as well. What do you think? Here's a peek at the base. You can see it says Ford C800. That FYT15 is the model number for this truck. Rubber tires. This part's a metal base. That part's plastic. So all this is plastic right here. The cab is metal though. And now let's look at the transporter part. This model, this model is low profile so it fits right under there. But like if you have other cars that are, they're not so low profile in the front, you can't park your car there. You've seen it in the display. This right here, I've seen people do pictures and this apparently is snug enough to where it holds your car right there. That's okay. I guess we're going to be driving down the road. There's your flying buttress. I, I don't know. I'm not particularly a fan, a fan of it. I wonder, I don't know if you're going to be able to put any cars up there that have any weight in the front. I don't know. I, I am not a fan of this one. At least if you put a Ford GT underneath, that'll be okay. <laughs> that'll be okay, I guess. The truck is just all right. 
The graphics on the 4GT race, superb, looks beautiful, like it very much. Excuse me, Patty, Patty, I'm trying to do my outro. You couldn't wait just two more minutes? Come on, Patty. Thank you for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.